Let's go to the central region where fishermen at Winneba have joined their colleagues at Jamestown requesting that government rather focuses on fighting light fishing than placing a month-long ban on fishing each year. The fisher folk want the Ministry of Fisheries and Aquaculture Developments to reconsider its decision. Winneba Beach is dotted with plastic waste, rubber and human excreta. One of the major drains that carries water from the community into the sea has been turned into a refuse dump. The fishermen walk through the refuse to the other side of the shore. The fishermen arrived at the shore not too happy. Their complaint is no different from that of their colleagues at Jamestown in Accra. According to them, after the ban was lifted, it was only one canoe that had a bumper harvest a day after the ban was lifted. Next year. If the government wants to stop, you have to stop every canoe. Whether it's China, whether it's uh, Africa, Coast, whether it's Togo, you have to stop every, every canoe mm. from going to the sea. Then after the one month, we will see what will happen. But this year, you mean it didn't go well? No, 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 it didn't go well at all. It didn't go well. But last week, they said you guys had a lot of fish Oh, just one canoe. It's just one canoe. It's just one canoe. Yeah, yeah, she, we did not get anything. There was no bumper harvest, even what to give to my mother and my sisters at home. I didn't get. According to the fishermen, the use of illegal fishing methods such as light fishing and chemicals are the cause of their problems. <laughs> The problem is not placing a ban on fishing, but rather enforcing laws on light fishing. The fisher folks ex the Ministry of Fisheries and Agriculture Development as well as the Fisheries Commission to strengthen their monitoring on illegal fishing practices.